Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In today's video, I will show you this single DIN car stereo with a flip out 7 inch color LCD display. This one here is model number RM CW0013G. So let me unbox this and I'll show you what it looks like. User manual, remote control. Wire harness. Here's a look at everything you get with this car stereo. Now with this video is only an unboxing and review of this unit. The installation procedure is very similar to other car stereo installs. You still have your wiring harness on the left side here where you have your speaker output, constant 12 volt, ignition 12 volt, and ground. Let me go over some of the features. The unit has a flip out LCD display. It's a seven inch color LCD touchscreen. The resolution is 800 by 480. It has built in Bluetooth 2.0 for hands-free calling. There's an AM and FM radio tuner with 30 memory presets. On the front of the unit, there is a USB port and SD memory card slot. With a memory card slot, it supports a maximum of 32 gigabyte memory size. Over here on the left, there is a wiring harness with RCA connectors. Those connectors allow for two channel audio output one channel video output, and one channel subwoofer output. There's also a video input for an optional rear view camera. Here you also see we have a GPS antenna for GPS navigation. Let's first look at the back of the unit. On the back we have the GPS antenna, radio antenna. This is the connector for the AV input. Over here is the power connector with the speaker output. Below that is a 15 amp fuse. If you look at the top of the unit, there's a sticker right here that will show you the wiring pinout for this wiring harness right here for the speaker output and the power input. You can also refer to the user manual with the same information. As far as which connector goes where, this wiring harness with a black connector connect to this connector on the right. This wiring harness with the audio video input and output plug into this connector right here in the middle the GPS antenna, plug in this port right here. And from your vehicle, you'll have a radio antenna connector like this, and this plugs into the antenna input at the bottom right here. Let's have a look at the front of this unit. On the left side is a microphone, menu button, Bluetooth button, previous, mode, band, next, this is the power switch and the volume adjust. In the middle is the LCD display. Below that is a micro SD memory card slot, so you can play your MP3 music. Next to it is another micro SD memory card slot. This is for loading the GPS data files. Over here is the infrared sensor for your remote control. Next to it is a USB port. So you can plug in a USB memory stick. Below that is the auxiliary port. Here is the EQ button. Next to it is a reset button. Now the top part of this unit is a flip out seven inch LCD display. To turn on the unit, push in the power switch right here. To open up the display, slide this out and it's spring loaded and it'll flip up and the display will come on. Right now we're listening to radio. Here are your presets on the left side. You can also tune to different stations. At the top left hand corner you'll find a home icon and this page will give you options to access GPS, radio, USB, SD card, Bluetooth, Bluetooth music, AVN, wallpaper. System, audio, display, touch, Bluetooth setup, time, steering wheel control, media, light, factory, and version. So let's go back to the first page. At the top, you have the date and time. If you press the radio icon, you go back to radio. Now this unit comes with a GPS antenna that you see right here. And on the LCD screen, you also see a GPS icon right here. If you select that, you'll notice it goes through this path that it points to a Navi1.exe file. Out of the box, this unit does not come with a micro SD memory card for the navigation software. So what you'll need to do is contact the seller and they'll provide you a link to download that file. Once you download it, that file is a zip file. You need to extract it. And rename the exe file to Navi1 that you see right here. Once you do that, copy those files that you extracted onto a micro SD memory card. Now, before you install the micro SD memory card, you should turn off the unit. 
Now install the micro SD memory card with the GPS file into this slot on the right side here. Turn on the unit. Navigation. The iGo software will open up. You're going to enter the destination, find address, find places. When you're done with the navigation, you can power off. Here I'm going to plug in my USB memory stick. It has some MP3 music on it. So now let's set up the Bluetooth and pair the phone to this radio. Go to Bluetooth Setup. Here you see the Bluetooth is on. Name is EW6800 and the pin code is 0000. On your mobile phone you'll see the device EW6800. Select that. Here you see it's connected for all call and media audio. you may dial it now. Please make your selection from the following menu. For automated climate and weather information, press... With the Bluetooth connected, it'll also stream audio from your mobile device to the stereo. Now, you don't always have to have this display open. If you're listening to radio, let's say, you can just close this up. You still have this LCD display at the bottom here to show you what radio station you're listening to. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this review video. Now, for some of you that might be looking for a budget car stereo with a lot of features packed into it, this unit might be something you can consider. It has this large 7-inch flip-out screen with built-in GPS navigation, Bluetooth hands-free calling, Bluetooth audio streaming, and you can also play your own MP3 music with a micro SD memory card slot or a USB drive. The unit even comes with a remote control so you can operate this wirelessly. So far with all the features I've tested, everything seemed to work fine. There is one thing I do notice about the touch screen that you see right here, and it's not very sensitive. Sometimes you do have to press a little harder for it to respond. So that's something to keep in mind. Now if you're interested in a unit like this, you can get it on GearBest.com. And at the time of doing this review, this unit retails for $120. If you want to check it out, I will include the link in the description below. Also, I want to mention right now, GearBest.com is having their mid-year sale. There are a lot of items on sale, and I'll include their link below. Again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.